this year marks the centenary of the birth of Benjamin Britten. The Violin Concerto is a reasonably early work. Britten was in his 20s when he wrote it, but it's a very accomplished work, don't you think? Yeah, I think it's a... Uh, from, if you look at, if you look at the, 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 the whole opus of, of Britten, you'll find a really... I mean, it's... it's The early style is so different from 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 his later works, and 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 it, and I I couldn't agree uh, 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 more uh, of of what you what you just said. So it's uh, we will hear during this season as well. I mean I think that what what is good that we have the opportunity also to hear uh, some some other like illuminations, one of the really important pieces. So we're going to play violin concerto, le illumination. Just to, to mention, uh, uh, to, we're going to dedicate a lot of time to, to Benjamin Britten, but yeah, absolutely. Um, the concert is bookended with works by Mozart, the Overture to the Magic Flute and the Symphony Number no. 39. What do you think it is about Mozart's music that makes it so enduringly popular? It's probably because you never know uh, whether this music laughs or whether this music cries. As a conductor, you never know, should you conducted in two or four or one or three or two or six, you, it's always in between. You know, I think it's just, it, it's just the genius of how easy those, all this music sounds if it's played right. Uh, probably is the key to, to success. If it sounds that we are having not having fun with it, then probably we have done something something wrong. But I think this is the key of success of, of this of this you cannot describe Mozart. You cannot you cannot put him into a drawer and say, uh, you know, it's larger than that. And for me that's that's the that's the good thing. Andrew Schulz I know from last year because he wrote a piece uh, that we played last year, Endling. And this year Andrew agreed to uh, compose a piece that will be dedicated to Britain. So that's the link. And we wanted to have so a strong Britain piece from his earlier early period uh, put as a contrast to that to that piece we put Schulz who's gonna make his own way of seeing Britain's music or 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 probably that's going to be I don't know how, how, how this piece is going to sound but it's definitely going to have something a strong relationship with Britain and we wanted to frame it with Mozart because the combination of Britain and Mozart was always interesting for me I've seen it uh, many times on the programs uh, and, and I think it worked quite quite nice so this um, the choices of two magnificent work by Mozart like we're talking about two really masterpieces uh, the Magic Flute and the Symphony Number no. 39 I mean, this is already, it's, a, it's much more than a frame, I would say. It's, it's a very strong frame. Very yeah. large context. Very yes. large context. Marco, thank you for your time. My pleasure.